希望普京总统可以尽快发射核弹头，目标就是英美法三个国家，哪里人多打哪里。我不想俄罗斯倒下，然后北约对付中国。啊、呃，那个呃，那个普京认为，那个乌克兰啊，实际上就是一直想谈帮助美国，所以我们先要去打掉。乌克兰，然后并警告美国来了一场下马威，然后给来了一场杀鸡给猴看。因为前苏联解体时，作为次子的乌克兰继承庞大的军事遗产，第一遗产核武器库，其中威力最大的是洲际导弹、炸弹导弹，无人能敌。谁的兵？你的兵。谁的团？你的团。It's time to cut the bollocks. China is supporting Russia, not only backing but also enabling this invasion. The Chinese Communist Party has employed a massive smokescreen to divert attention away from this fact. But when it comes down to it, in a country where outspoken opinions are not tolerated or allowed unless officially sanctioned, it's these public statements and sentiments that clearly reflect the thinking and policies of the government. <laughs> 苏联解体后，那个乌克兰那边就留下了两千一百余枚核弹头，而这些核弹头呢，恰好可以对各个国家产生打击。哎，美国一想啊，有两千一百枚核弹头，这么好的事情可能会对俄罗斯展开巨大的打击，所以就想把那个乌克兰给靠拢过来，让他加入自己，最后联合攻击俄罗斯，然后最后把俄罗斯给吞掉。Why would this sort of rhetoric be taught and encouraged in primary and middle schools if it wasn't in fact what the government wanted? Remember. All Chinese education is run by the state. Stop! Who? 乌克兰曾经是二十世纪末最土豪的国家，因为前苏联解体时，作为次子的乌克兰继承庞大的军事遗产，第一遗产，核武器库，其中威力最大的是洲际导弹、炸弹导弹，无人能敌。第二遗产，主战坦克有六千多辆，其中时速最高可达七十千米。第三遗产。三艘航空母舰上面装备三百多艘战机，可以随时待命出招。第四遗产，世界最大战略轰炸机图幺六零，它的外形很优美，被誉为“白天鹅”。乌克兰这个败家子继承了前苏联这么庞大的军事遗产，现在却成为了最遗憾的国家。从这个事件当中，我们懂得了什么道理？谁的兵？你的兵？谁的团？你的兵？谁的团？你的兵？六班到，谁的兵？六班，谁的团？六班。China's internal news and online discussions are completely different to what it puts out internationally, and due to the opaque nature of China, they usually get away with it. It's not only a people from reading what's being said and、uh, and written online in China and in the news. But technological ones too. They do block outside IP addresses from being able to, for instance,、uh, create and and just log into Weibo easily or read what's going on on the news sites and social media. Let me give you a clear example of the smoke screen. Also, stress that the government should clearly take responsibility for peace and work, and not be afraid to raise tension, create panic, or even declare war. The problem now is the main problem. 当前乌克兰局势紧张的是作用者，美方在这场危机当中，他扮演了什么样的角色，发挥了什么作用？如果有人一边火上浇油，一边指责别人，救火不利，那么这种行为是不负责任的，也是不道德的。Here we have Chinese ministers saying how much China is against conflict and how much they respect sovereign borders. 
and that they shouldn't meddle and nobody should meddle in the internal affairs of other countries. Hundreds of civilians have died and more than 1.5 million uh, people have been made refugees. Many observers have asked why China has not um, uh, yet to describe this as uh, a case of one country invading another. China believes that to resolve the current crisis, we must uphold the purposes and principles of the UN Charter and respect and protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries. We must adhere to the principle of indivisible security and accommodate the legitimate security concerns of the parties involved. Yet at the exact same time, we have scenes of schoolchildren in China being taught that Ukraine is simply a puppet of NATO and the USA. These scenes of, for lack of a better word, indoctrination and brainwashing are fairly common. In fact, Chinese state media is constantly telling everyone that it's the USA, NATO and Ukraine that are the aggressors and are responsible for this invasion without ever stating the obvious. It is the invader, after all, who is truly the aggressor. Chinese state media is now also blasting out Russian propaganda on behalf of Russia, aiming it at a Western audience. We know that Chinese state media already supports Russia and constantly regurgitates Russian propaganda to a domestic audience. But since RT, Sputnik and other Russian state media have come under fire and in some cases have been banned in certain markets, Chinese state media has stepped in to pick up the mantle and responsibility of spreading Russian state propaganda on behalf of the Russian government in markets that now the Russian government cannot reach. Make no mistake here, the Chinese government is conniving and two-faced, trying to have its cake and eat it at the same time. And now the smokescreen is once again intensified as China, now through official channels, accuses the USA of developing biological warfare in Ukraine using biolabs, among other ridiculous claims. In other words, searching for reasons as to why this invasion, which they have very openly, although now they're trying to hide that, backed from the very beginning, they're trying to find reasons to justify this invasion and say that it was something that should have been done. So, of course, on the face of it, when you look at it, there is no real justification for this. They try to blame NATO, they try to blame the USA, and now they're trying to blame biological warfare, biolabs. Of course, no justification exists. But they need to ratify their very obvious and transparent, even though they're trying hard to distance themselves, support for this invasion. So let's cut through all the bullshit for a minute here. Ignore all the soft propaganda put out by compromised social media influencers and state media puppets and look at the facts. 1. China has given Russia a means to sidestep sanctions. They've done this by swiftly adding Russia to its union pay system as a way to bypass the Visa and MasterCard sanctions. 2. They have increased trade and lifted many restrictions off of trade between Russia and China. Once again, 
offering Russia a financial alternative to any sanctions that may be put up against Russia from the West. 3. Standing fast with Russia. Not condemning this invasion. Simply attempting to run defense and constantly trying to justify this invasion on behalf of Russia. 4. Actively suppressing any domestic support for Ukraine and anti-war sentiment. Don't forget that a leaked document showed that the Chinese government mandated that state media may not post anything pro-Ukraine. 5. Regurgitating Russian state propaganda. Collaborating with and being a part of Russian propaganda. Here we have a correspondent from Chinese state media, Phoenix TV, mingling with the Russian troops, showing support and broadcasting to China, showing the Chinese public how their friends, the Russians, are doing in this conflict. Six, Russia and China are self-proclaimed friends with no limits. China treats the West and particularly the USA as an enemy, as does Russia. Seven, China is clearly lying when it says it respects sovereign borders and sovereign countries. Yet at the same time, refuses to condemn Russia and in fact offers Russia support as Russia disrespects and invades a sovereign country. All this rhetoric about not taking a side is false and yet people are falling for it. China is not some sort of peaceful middleman. It's simple. Russia is doing something bad and China is the only country that's thrown its full support behind Putin. Although China's soft power would have you believe that suddenly overnight China now has a more balanced and compassionate stance towards the invasion of Ukraine, once you blow away the smokescreen, the hard and stark truth of it all is that the CCP sees this invasion as entirely justified and are gleefully wringing their hands as it puts them in a position to gain a lot of ground both on the international stage and of course with regards to its influence over Russia. Until next time, remember, we have to look through this ridiculous smokescreen of propaganda and soft power and see what the real deal is. Russia's doing something bad, China's supporting them. Simple. If we are to sanction Russia, we should be sanctioning those who support Russia too. If we're to have peace in this world, we cannot allow petty dictators to be propped up. Don't forget, China also backs North Korea. Don't forget, China also backed Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge. They don't really pick very good friends to back, do they? A shout out to all the very reasonable Chinese people out there who unfortunately have constantly had their voices suppressed simply because it's not something that the Chinese government allows. A shout out to everybody out there who wants an end to this invasion and this war in the most peaceful way possible. A shout out to anyone who's affected by it. And of course, until next time, you know the drill. As always, stay awesome.